All right, one more problem right here. So it says this roller at A is moving upward with a velocity of three feet per second. Determine the velocity of block B at this instant. This seems uh, like a very, very simple problem, uh, but I don't know if you can you can visualize this. This is not simply, velocity of B is not simply also three uh, feet per second. That, that'd be too easy. Uh, but this is a constrained motion problem. Um, you know, it, it, two things are connected by a rope. Uh, so let us uh, find the L total. Uh, and then let's take the derivative, set that equal to zero. All right, so here, let's say this uh, would be LB. And now my instinct, let me say this. Don't write this down because this is wrong. My instinct would be to call this right here LA. All right, but I can't do that because it violates one of our rules. Um, all of our rules are positive outward. That, okay, that's okay. Our rules are you know, measured from a fixed point outward. Okay, that, that's okay. But, but then one last rule, that we need to define the lengths, the dimensions, in the direction of the velocity. Uh, and so here, this is not, this LA is not in the direction of VA. So if I define that as LA right there, the derivative of LA would not simply be VA. It'd actually be pretty complicated, I mean, because my LA is changing directions. All right, so how can I define the length of this rope by taking all my measurements from fixed points outward and in the direction of velocity? They kind of already uh, give you a hint right here. What if we define that as... L A. Okay. All right. So now what is L total of the rope? All right. So this would be L B. And then uh, you still have to figure out the length of that rope. So the length of that rope is the hypotenuse of this triangle, right? And this triangle has a base, I mean a height of L A and a base of three. And that's a constant three. You know, it, it doesn't change as this um, pulley A is moving up that channel. So that's a constant 3. So the length right here of the rope is the hypotenuse of a 3 squared plus LA squared. Uh, so take the square root of that. Or if you don't mind, I'm going to write this as to the 1 half power because I'm about to take the derivative. All right, let's just take the derivative. Now, be careful. Let's go slow. Let's take the derivative of this, but this is more than more than more than it more complicated than it looks like. In fact, uh, may, maybe pause this and see if you can think about this and figure out the derivative of this on your own. Okay, think about this. It's it's kind of a complicated function to the one-half power. And so what is the derivative of this? Well, it would be one-half of that. Uh, subtract one, but also use the chain rule, right, and multiply times the derivative of what's inside there. All right, so this comes out to be one-half of three squared plus LA squared to the negative one-half times the derivative of what's inside. All right, so what is the derivative of just this, this simple thing inside. That also is a little bit more complicated than it seems. Uh, the derivative of, of 3 squared, that's a constant, so that's nothing. But the derivative of LA squared is more than just, uh, you know, VA squared. The derivative of LA squared is also like a function. Let's kind of come down here. It, that's the derivative of a function squared. What's the derivative of a function squared, uh, that would be 2 f of x to the 1 power, I'm not going to draw that, times, I have to use the chain rule, the derivative of what's inside there. So this, you're actually using the chain rule twice. Uh, so this would be 2 la times va. There we go. Did, did you get that? Did did you realize that? Did you see how much more complicated it is than it than it seems at first? All right, so so this is a, a very um, 
interesting and complex problem is if you've got something uh, traveling it within a slot, uh, pulling some other block or what have you. All right, so now this is our equation. I could I could rearrange that, simplify that a little bit, uh, but I think I'm just going to leave it right there and plug in what I know. All right, so I know that this LA is 4. Now, did you notice that I didn't plug in, I, I didn't I didn't say this is 3 squared plus 4 squared and then take, I, I didn't say that this this length right here was just 5. I, I, I took the derivative first, then I plugged in my 4. Don't plug in that 4, which is changing, right? That 4 is changing, so I waited until after I took the derivative to plug that in. I suppose this 3, this 3 is constant, so I can plug it in uh, to begin with. But if, if something is changing, you know, if you've got a variable, um, don't plug it in before you take a derivative or an integral. Uh, wait and plug it in after. All right, so plug in that 4 right there, plug in that 4 right there, plug in this 3 right here. Uh, then I think my only unknown is VB. So a little bit of math, uh, and I can solve that VB is negative 2.4 feet per second.